St. Basil's Church on the campus of the University of St. Michael's College in downtown Toronto, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents Daily Mass. The televising of today's Mass is made possible by a contribution from three donors. The first is Rose Di Pietro Maza and families from Hamilton, Ontario, in memory of Evan Joseph Maza on the first anniversary of his death. The second is an anonymous donor from St. John's, Newfoundland, for the living and deceased members of the family and for the souls in purgatory. The third is a couple from Woodstock, Ontario, for their family and for the special intentions of their family. On behalf of all the faithful across Canada gathered for this celebration, we thank you. And we begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. To prepare and dispose ourselves to enter into worship of our great God on this feast of St. John the Evangelist, we center on God's Spirit living within us and we ask God for those things that we stand most in need of at this time in our lives. Lord Jesus, you are the Word incarnate. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you show us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, in you we place all our hope and trust. Christ, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. God our Father, you have revealed the mysteries of your word through St. John the Apostle. By prayer and reflection, may we come to understand the wisdom he taught. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, he who lives and reigns with you in union with the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of John. Beloved, we declare to you what was from the beginning, what we have heard, what we have seen with our eyes, what we have looked at and touched with our ha hands concerning the word of life. This life was revealed, and we have seen it and testify to it, and declare to you the eternal life that was with the Father and was revealed to us. We declare to you what we have seen and heard so that you also may have communion with us. And truly, our communion is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. We are writing these things so that our joy may be complete. The word of the Lord.
The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. On the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene ran and went to Simon Peter and the other disciples, the one whom Jesus loved, and said to them, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they have laid him. Then Peter and the other disciples set out and went towards the tomb. The two were running together, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He bent down to look in and saw the linen wrappings lying there, but he did not go in. Then Simon Peter came, following him, and went into the tomb. He saw the linen wrappings lying there and the cloth that had been on Jesus' head. It was not lying with the linen wrappings, but rolled up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple, who reached the tomb first, also went in, and he saw, and he believed. The Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to you, Lord. 